in the county of Cumbria, where horsewoman Tracy Alexander has created a haven for the beloved equine breed that stole her heart. There is a, a real spirituality about the Frisians. It's the smell, it's the touch, and just the energy that they emit and how that is transferred to us as humans. It's like the unspoken word. You sit with a Frisian, they just know. They just sense what you're going through. It's a very deep spiritual connection that, that, that I feel with them and I know so many of our visitors over the years have, have felt that. We're at Greenbank Farm in Cartmel, which is in the southern part of the Lake District. It's the most beautiful part of the world. And I have this wonderful family of Frisian horses that I'm lucky enough to, to, to look after and, and raise on this farm that's been in the family for over 100 years. I think my passion for, for racing initially in my younger days came from my great-grandfather and, and my father who was passionate about racing and for me as a, as a youngster it was all about thoroughbreds but I always had this thing for, for black horses and when I discovered the Frisian and started looking into them, um, you know, for, for me they are the only horse now so I'm a little bit blinkered to, to other breeds of horses now. Have you not got anyone to scratch you? Oh, my darling. Oh, my darling. Hey, <laughs> you're not getting back scratches from anyone. So Hida's one of my original boys. Um, he's 20 this year, like Hoitzer. Uh, but we did a little bit of competing. But, you know, I, I'm... It, it, it's not what drives me. I, I just love to, to, to train them on the on the dressage principles, but not because I want to go out and compete, but just because I want to make them feel as good as they can. And I look at it that when I work with them, I'm their personal trainer, I'm their personal physiotherapist, and it's no different to us going to a gym to try and make ourselves feel as well and as healthy as possible. Um, so yeah, that's the basis that I work on with the training. But yeah, he's, um, he's a very cool little fella, aren't you? Yeah, and you love your ladies. You love your ladies. The Frisian originates from, from Holland, um, north of Holland, Friesland. Um, dating right back, they were used as war horses because they're very loyal to whoever works with them. They also don't have a lot of respect for personal space a lot of the time, so I think that probably made them very good going into battle. They became driving horses when, when machinery was coming in. They ended up being used a lot for, for carriage driving, trotting racing. They're now being bred as a, as a more versatile sports horse. The Frisian experience basically started from uh, me wanting to try and help educate people. Um, people who were thinking of buying Frisian or who had got a Frisian. I've had a number of horses in for training over the years or coming here just, just to be part of the herd. And I've had a number of horses that ended up being abandoned here. Buying a horse is the cheap part, looking after them is, is what costs the money. We're very lucky because we've got a huge following online as well. And because we share so much information and videos online, we have a lot of people who, who very kindly donate um, to help us look after these horses. The sanctuary isn't here to help people who want to train their horse to sell it on because it's no good for them anymore. It's here for people who have fallen on a hard time. You've done a fantastic job. Oh, thank I'm you. I'm so pleased. So this is Inna, my Frisian mare, um, who I've had for three years, who just gave me a few problems. Um, and she was slightly challenging. She needed to come to Frisian expert basically and hopefully she's given 
both of us the tools to move, to move forward in our training. So I'm really, really happy. She looks fantastic and I'm really pleased. So we'll go up and meet them all. As a farm, we can't rely on the horses to help us keep this place running. So we've had to look at different ways to try and keep the farm viable. And I remember as a child myself, reading books about families that had Shetland ponies that would go in and sleep on the bed. And for me, that would be my dream to have a horse in the house, in my bedroom. So we set about creating what, what we call stable stays. And then I'll explain everything to you. We have a beautiful self-catering room in what was a stable. We then have a partition and we have a stable, the other side. So we now can welcome people to come and spend a night with either one of our Frisians or little Mr. JB, my miniature Shetland pony. That if you're up on the top bunk, the horse can chat to you up the top. Um, if you have little Mr. JB, our Shetland, he can walk in and out of your living area with you. The horse is gonna be my roommate for the night. And I'm really excited. I really like her. <laughs> yeah, she's very nice. She's also very hungry. Yeah. <laughs> So the, the six of them have been for one of our Meet the Horses tours um, and now I've just checked, checked them into the stable for the night. They've been introduced to Micah, I've explained a little bit more about her temperament, her character, what to expect for the night. They can just spend the evening getting to know her and you know learn about that beautiful interaction with a Frisian. As well as stable stays, Tracy has recently introduced a well-being concept, allowing people to get up close and personal with her black beauties and feel the effects of their empathetic attributes. I'm not keen on the word therapy. I wanted to create a space where anybody could just come and be in a lovely environment and sit with a horse. It's called the Frisian Friendship Barn. And the idea is that you've got your Frisian in there, or, or Mr. JB, and they're, the, they're your therapist, really. So you can go in there, you can shut yourself away for an hour, two hours. You can tell them all your problems. You can hug them, groom them, scratch them, cuddle them, cry with them, laugh with them. Just have that time where you don't, have to, you don't have to answer any questions. You don't have to tell them anything. They're not going to judge you. They're just going to give you that lovely, feel-good feeling. It's a real emotional connection. Even just sitting in, here in this barn, the energy that a horse creates with its presence is just second to none and anybody who knows and loves horses will completely get that. They're so intelligent, far more intelligent than so many people give them credit for and they're just kind. They're, they're really kind souls that if you learn to understand them and communicate with them in the right way they'll do anything for you and yeah, I just, I just love that bond with them and trying to learn to understand each and every horse that, that crosses my path. Um, and I guess that's why I do what I do now. <laughs>